Hey guys, so this time around, I decided to team up with the beautiful Linda, aka Jameskin Beauty here on YouTube. I'll definitely leave a, a link down below to show you her video. And we decided to do a look, especially for um, Christmas, um, something nice with goals, rose goals, and things like that. And these are the two looks right here. If you want to know how I got my look, then definitely stay tuned. And if you want to know how she got her look, then click the link in the video or down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have you, hope you have a happy holidays this year. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, so um, my clip is missing from me placing this on my face. This is the Anastasia um, Chestnut Foundation and I have been loving, loving to use it as my color corrector instead of the Anastasia Deep Cream Kit. And I did pat that in with a dry beauty blender to suck up some of the oils from it. Um, now I'm taking the Cool Golden Foundation from Anastasia. It is almost close to my skin tone, but not quite yet. It's on the yellow side, so I can't use it by itself just yet, but I still love it. And again, I'm using a dry beauty blender to soak up some of the oils from that foundation as well. And just patting it over top of the chestnut. This combo is perfect for color correcting for me. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to take my Lancome Tint Ado 470 Suede C Foundation. And this is probably my favorite, favorite foundation in my arsenal. It's, it's just bomb. If you have oily skin, you should definitely try it out. And if, especially if you have acne marks, you should definitely try it out. I love this foundation. It doesn't dry completely matte, but it's definitely like matte enough for me. And it leaves your skin looking silky. Get it? Get it? Papa Jagger. I love these, these Philips Bluetooth um, wireless headphones. Like, I love them. Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and my Lancome um, Macrolage Concealer. I haven't made up my mind how I feel about the Lancome just yet, but it is on the medium to full coverage side. Um, just let me know down below if you want me to do a review on it. I, I don't know yet, but I kind of like it, but I don't know completely. You, under, you, you get that? <laughs> So I thought I didn't want to, you know, go all out, but I changed my mind and I said, okay, yeah, let's, you know, add some pop to it. So I added my LA Girl Pure Beige Concealer over top of that, and yes. Then I'm going to take my trusty um, Truffle Foundation from Anastasia. I have been loving these to use as highlight correcting, not completely as foundations anymore, but I do love it for highlighting, contouring, and correcting. Just because, you know, I don't feel like it's, you know, completely for girls that have older skin. It, it just doesn't, you know, stay matte for me. Or, you know, it's, it's not completely matte. It's like a DMI or semi or something like that. Um, you know, let me know how you feel about the Anastasia um, foundations down below. How do you feel? Do you like them? Do you love them? Are they good for your skin? Do you feel like they get oily? Like, tell me how you feel about them. So I'm just blending everything out with my damp beauty blender. It helps out with, you know, everything to, of course, you know, look smooth and nice and put together. And this is how it looks right afterwards. Now I'm going to take my trusty, trusty mix of my ben Benai Banana Powder and my Airspun Powder. I have been loving, loving to be, of course, super matte. I've always loved to be super matte, but I have been loving adding, you know how you get that little nose itch? Yeah. <laughs> but I have been loving using the Airspun with it. Now I just took my... Um, my what is what is that mineralized skin finish in the shade dark and i sprayed it with some elf powder elf spray elf spray to kind of uh, make it more full coverage now i'm taking uh old favorite this is blunt uh blush by mac and i'm using that to contour my cheekbones and my forehead now i'm gonna do something very different we're gonna take my um painterly paint pot and i'm going to use that on my eyes as an eyeshadow base i'm going to take this milani um eyeshadow i'll list all the products down below you guys 
I'm using that into my crease area. Now I'm going to take this Bella Gold um, eyeshadow from Milani as well and a 785 brush from uh, Dillium Tools. And I'm just placing that all over my lid and I'm going back and I'm blending that into my crease area. I'm going to take uh, this Pat McGrath uh, double ended liner and you guys know that I love this liner like it is so easy for me to create my wing liner with this like and it's super super black and I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna make it a little bit wider I feel like a thicker wing liner looks absolutely amazing on me I, I think I have come to that conclusion conclusion that it looks better on me and not a thin one I think we're gonna be rocking thicker you know wing liners so you may see a lot of that coming soon now I'm gonna take this gold glitter liner by NYX cosmetics and I'm going to line the top of that wing liner and it just kind of creates a you know a, a, a pop to it but not like you know something off the wall but I absolutely love lining the top of my wings with different liners or a glitter. Now I'm taking these Huda Beauty lashes. These are the Scarlet lashes. And I absolutely love Huda Beauty lashes. I hate her for you her not posting a lot of black people, but her lashes are bomb. I can't, you know, I can't hate on that, okay? Now I'm going to take that brown shadow on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take the gold as well. And you guys, we only use two eyeshadows. <laughs> two eyeshadows only. So this is super easy. Anybody can do this. So you guys know I always go overboard with my blushes. This is the Lumina look, Delicioso blush from Milani Cosmetics and I seriously overdid this one. But oh well, you know what I'm saying? I still was cute. It, you know, it toned down a little bit as the day went on. Uh, went on. Now I'm taking a chestnut a lip liner by MAC Cosmetics and these two lippies from Kylie Jenner. The first one is the Angel Liquid Lipstick and it's beautiful by itself but the star of the show is really the Cupid Metallic Lip Gloss. It is so beautiful. I'm not even hating on Kylie. Like this is beautiful by itself. Like for real, for real. You should definitely try it out. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys love it. Definitely check out Linda's look. I'll tag her in the video as well as outside of the video. <laughs> I forgot about this. I used my taffy, um, uh, my taffy highlighter from Anastasia. I overdid it. So I went back over top of it with my foundation brush to tone it down. That's how you tone down some of your, your, your face products. Go back over it with your foundation brush. But again, check out Linda's look on her channel as well. I'll tag her down below. And if you guys love this video, make sure you thumbs up for me, guys. I love you so much. This has been an amazing year. Thank you so much for your support.